Hi there, I'm Jay Atwood, and we're going to take a closer look at how you can create class folders using Doctopus, the Google Apps Script add-on written by Andrew Stillman of New Visions for Public Schools. So here we are on step two of Doctopus, where we set up our roster. I've already started to create a new roster from this sheet, and I'm about to give it a name. This is my psychology class. Now you notice just below the roster name, there's a checkbox for create class folders. When you check that, Doctopus gives you a preview of what the class folders are going to look like. There's a little structure down here below. If I scroll through it, I can quickly show you how it's going to work. So you have an overall class folder that matches this roster. Under that, there's a teacher folder. You have a class edit folder in which all the students will have edit access, a class view folder where all of the students have view only rights so you can store your resources there, and then a set of student folders. So there's one for each student it's named appropriately with the roster's name and appended by the student's last name and first name. Now do make note, as the information says below, that student folders show up in Shared With Me after you run this. So you have to go to Shared With Me in their drive and then add them to their My Drive for easier access. When you hover over any of these folders, you get a little pop-up that tells you a little bit more about it. If everything's okay with that, you click Create and Share Folders. You have a little message that the folders were created and how many, and it also saves your roster. And Doctopus has moved this spreadsheet into the teacher folder so you can find it easier later on. Now if I expand the folder student folder key column, you can see that each one of these is a unique key and that relates to the student's folder. Let me jump over to Drive and I can show you what it looks like. As you can see here, I have a Psychology A2 folder now. Inside of that are the four top-level folders. The class Edit, which everyone has Edit View access, so any document you save in there, everybody in the class will automatically be able to edit collaboratively. Class View folder, so they can just see documents in there, so if you want resources that they can't edit or if they need to make a copy of, you can keep them there. There's a Psychology A2 Students folder. If I pop that open, you'll find a folder for each student inside. So that's an individually shared folder between me and each of the students. So students can't see each other's work. And finally, there's a teacher folder. And as you can see, my writing assignment spreadsheet, which is what I was working off of, has been put there for me automatically. Now I've jumped over to one of my student accounts, Jenny, and we'll see what it looks like from the student perspective. Now, as you can see here under her mind drive, she has no folders. She has to check under shared with me, and here, each student is shared three sets of folders. The class view folder, the class edit folder, and the individual folder between the uh, teacher and the student. So it's always best to keep things organized by moving them into my drive. The quickest way to do this is to check the boxes next to them, click move to, and then under my drive, I wanna put all of them under one folder. So at the bottom here, there's a link to create a new folder in your My Drive. Give it a name. And make sure that there's a tick mark next to it. Click Move when you're done. So now Jenny can find everything in her site class folder. She can find the resources that she needs to collaboratively edit, to view, and her work. This psych folder here is where every assignment that's shared out with this Doctopus roster to my psych A2 class will go. So she can always go into this folder to find where her documents are. Let's continue with Doctopus. So I'm going to quickly go through and run a full Doctopus and share an assignment out to these folders, and then I'll show you what it looks like in the end. Be right back. Now one thing you notice on step three is the option for deliver to student folders, that's automatically checked. Doctopus knows that you've already created a set of student folders for this class, so it will put anything that it copies into those. Whenever the file picker shows up, you can use the checkbox to select a folder or click on the name to drill down into that folder. The breadcrumbs will allow you to go back.
In step five, you have the option to notify editors immediately when you share it or when you reshare it. Now, in this case, since I'm using class folders, I don't really need to do that. Students know that they need to go into their class folder from that, for this class, and they'll find everything they need there. Remember that you are always required to create a, an assignment folder so the Doctopus knows where you can save these as a teacher. That's it. So Doctopus has created all of my documents and shared them with the appropriate students. Let's go into Drive and see what it's done. So back in my class folder, I go into the teacher folder, and here I will see another folder in which I can find all of the students' work in one place. So this is great because it keeps everything organized for me. As I create more assignments, they are all saved within my teacher folder. It makes it easy and convenient to find everything in one place. If I take a quick look here as well at each of these folders, you can also tell that it's been shared individually into each student's folder. I go into Jake's, and there he can find his writing assignment. So that's how the new Doctopus has integrated the features of G Class Folders to create class folders for your students. It keeps everything nice and organized, and I think you'll like it. Now, remember, you have to set up class folders when you are at the roster stage. If you don't do it the first time you create your roster, unfortunately, you can't go back and re-add them. However, if you do get a new student in class, simply add them to the spreadsheet, go back to step two, and refresh the class folders. So my rosters have been updated, my class folders have been refreshed, and my new student has the folder ready. Now if I want to distribute the current assignment to the student, I'll just keep walking through the steps here. Or I can go straight to copy and share assignments. Now when I rerun copy and share, Doctopus will look for any rows of the spreadsheet that haven't been filled in with the file name and link. And it should add those for me, as well as put them directly in the student's class folder. So there we have it. The new student has been added, her class folder has been created, and the document has been shared with her. Again, she can go into her class folder and find that document there waiting for her. So that's how Doctopus handles class folders. It's a pretty powerful tool, and it helps keep you, or you and your students organized. Now, Andrew's done some great work integrating the code from G Class Folders right into Doctopus, so I think it'll be even more ac accessible for teachers. Remember, if you have any questions about this, go to the Doctopus community on Google+, or the app script for education builders and users, and post your comments there. That's all for now. Happy scripting!